Gifted Garage. I'm Gif. Doing nonsense. The last time you saw this, it had water in the fuel. Since then, I've I've drained that out and I've taken it out and gone to a couple shows, local car shows and stuff. And it's just, it's kind of just reliable and does what it's supposed to do and just cruises down the highway and overdrive and so i'm gonna do the right thing and make it fucking dumb yeah the 78 75s and uh i don't think I need them both. I think we'll just put one <laughs> on there. Because with one, you're making like 550, 600. Like the T5 trans isn't going to last. So I want to keep a five speed so I don't have to change drive shafts and all that. So if I get a TKX, they're only rated for like 600. So I think, you know, 600 in a. 2600 pound car is plenty. And I went on the internet and got all the um, the cheapest stuff I could find to make a turbo work. Since I'm not doing two, I had this in cap one, use the other. If I even use it, I could just put it to the oil pan, but I also have no idea what I'm doing. First major thing to figure out is where I'm going to put it. So there's plenty of space, but to keep this cheap, I'm not going to run like an oil pump or anything. So the turbo has to be higher than wherever I'm draining to. So it would be stupid to have it come up through the hood when I have a mile of space. I don't necessarily want it in front of the radiator, the whole exhaust housing, just putting heat in there. So I think what I gotta do is put the radiator as far forward as I can, have some space right here. Ideally, the radiator was here. I need to get it in front of here, which means I gotta change my beautiful, beautiful electrical conduit tubular front. But that's not a big deal. These manifolds gotta come off, see if I can flip them. I don't wanna buy turbo headers. I wanna use what I got. And I was having flow issues anyways with the radiator. Even on the highway, I had to have the fans running because all the air was coming around it. And I didn't have any sort of ducting to it. So I think putting the radiator forward will help with that. Anyways, I'm just gonna have to obviously get different hoses to get to it, but. Pull out my custom header here. Uh, isn't that a thing of beauty?
I want to just flip them, but a power steering pump might pose a problem. Got to get the other side off and figure it out. Hmm. I wanted the driver's side to come. Like, I got all this space, kind of like how I did it on the dart. Set it down and back, stock manifolds down and forwards. So the driver's side on the passenger side, but the that one doesn't have power steering. So it was easy. So if I just flip them up, <clears throat> I can cut that off. Have to come down. And then back up. But I also have these beat to crap <clears throat> Silverado-ish long tubes that I've never gotten to fit in anything. So I maybe try, try and build some headers. Cut them up. It's worth a shot. Don't really have a plan. We're just gonna start cutting. So, uh, that's what you think. it just broke right off. And they're full of cracks, and somebody welded it. And these flanges aren't even straight. And, you know, I might just have to spend the hundred bucks and get like the hooker black heart like knockoffs on eBay. Cause I think it'll fit there. And I think it'll fit here and get just under this power steering line. Come out underneath there, out to the front. That's that's not where that's going. I don't know. Who would have thought with like all of this space, I'd be struggling like this. Just cause you got all the tube frame. I can't just do like the up and forward turbo headers. We'll figure it out. A few moments later. Chinese knockoff hooker swap manifolds. They're not not too bad. Hundred dollars. Right now they're one fifty on eBay, but they get the little button that says make offer. Use the button. They don't need one fifty for these. Come with the flange, bolts, gaskets. This is the important moment. Power steering. If I could function. Get right on this fucking line. Uh, and bend that out of the way, maybe. So, down and forward. Swap manifolds. It's a little close. 
It's my steering shaft, but I think I can make it work. I'm to trim that just a hair. And I'm on my steering line. I can probably do something else with that later. So now I can do something. Got an old tailpipe off an old Suburban I had. Three inch, lots of bends. But the, uh, the merge and probably the reducers down to two and a half. Gonna come in handy. And I'm too cheap to buy a $30 flange for the turbo. So, we got some stuff. It's like scrap shit. I don't know if that's probably not thick enough. I got a big road plate. Torch would have been nice. I'm thinking something turbo between the radiator and the motor. But one of the deciding factors for where I put it is I don't want to just run a dump. I want to get a pipe back to my my boom tube either that side or that side because that's plastic to just cut it out to the side I just temporarily tacked my core support up so I could cut these bars out to make this wide enough see how far forward I can stuff that radiator and make some sort of mounts up under there I'll have a good 10 12 inches of space between the motor and the rad um we on fire <laughs> okay yeah so anyways just uh random chunks of pipe working my way up this is my first turbo build and like I've been reading mixed things whether I want to keep the upstream O2s or not so I mean I kept it for now so that gets me out here it's part of my old had a thing but that'll kind of work its way in the there I'll get rid of that so then I got a flex and then somehow merge that into that try and do the same kind of deal into that I don't fucking know it's something like that Scrap. So it's getting late. I gotta put all my toys away, and I'm 
filthy. But those are on. Pipe, flex, merge, tax, shitty fit, all the sloppiness. So that's where I'm at. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just welding scraps together. There's the nice. Nice little flange I made. So. Some sort of something. And then I gotta get that into that. And then the turbo fits there. It makes sense, kinda. Not really. Uh huh. And now I just gotta, just gotta get, get there. It's only a little. I mean, it's only held on with a clamp. I might have to weld a bar, catch a thermostat bolt or something. Did I mention I don't know what I'm doing? Square pipe. I like it. Probably my worst welds ever. You know, I got all the excuses, you know, I'm outside in the sun and the helmet's messed up and whatever. Two and one. To the turbo those bolts aren't tight that's not anyways still need a wastegate sloppy turbo I ran out of wire I had to get the cheap wire at Harbor Freight so this came out terrible but One piece. So that's good. I didn't uh, delete all the serviceability from it. So uh, it's pretty solid. Looks terrible. And there's probably going to be all kinds of leaks. But, you know. Head a wrap. Hot side is done. This is my first turbo, but, like, I know a, a few things. Like, uh, the wastegate, you want it kind of straight shot the way it's flowing. Like, you don't want it, like, pointing backwards you don't want the exhaust to have to make like a turn to go into it you want it to be able to flow right out the gate i'm gonna start it without the turbo and shit on there blow all this crap out of that pipe you don't want that going in the turbo so hopefully it still starts there's no radiator and i know there's still water in the block but
Moving on. Just uh, shorten my old intake tube and <laughs> intercooler. No, we don't. We don't need that. It's not gonna fit in my my slot anymore. You gotta get oil for the turbo. So, bought one of these little ICT. It's for twins. Comes with plugs. So I can only use one. And we gotta get it right where that little guy is, next to the filter. Uh. So, I just want to confirm that that pumps oil. I mean, the car don't want to run, but it's pumping oil. Is <coughs> Weldon galvanized bad? Do I care? Um, yeah, some angle. There's a lower rad support. That's pretty solid. This is just conduit galvy shit, but it's just for the hood brace. It's just scrap. And here's the thing about me. So I'll go through all this trouble and make little tabs and a nice little thing and then I'll just self tap it right in there. I'm gonna drill a hole and put a bolt. Perfect. I just need a little what kind of deal right there. Well, isn't that the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Not. It'll hold the radiator though. So it's fine. Cheap ass Amazon V-Van. Which doesn't exactly fit this turbo. But, you know, plug wires need to fit plug wires. too tight to get down to that without I don't know, cutting some of this out or coming out and then back in and then I would probably need another v-band to be able to take it apart so I might try and go down out the side there where it's actually metal. I'm a little dumb. But I don't know. I might just take that <laughs> and go right out the hood. But I need enough for a wide band, so. Well, there's no turning back now. all bondo
Have I mentioned I'm not a fabricator? I mean, it's not pretty, but it'll work. Got a little thing. Throw a hose clamp on that. Boom. It works. So radiator's mounted. Hoses are stretched. There's no cooling in it yet. I'm terrible at staying on task and I'm all over the place, but I made a list. Um, good enough. That's done. Downpipe's done, bumper's welded. I haven't done any of the fuel yet or a tune, but I want to hear turbo noises. So I just hooked the mass airflow back up and uh, make sure it still runs. jerry-rigged a wideband gauge in there for now using uh, the bottom of a brake clean can because it's a two and a sixteenth gauge and that's a two and five eighths hole made a little trim ring bezel got the wideband in there now I just gotta do fuel system stuff stock injector with a cap no more cap and yeah this is my my workbench because that's atrocious <laughs> <laughs> this pump is used in modified vehicles only. It's a stock car. <laughs> but all I did was get an in tank pump for like a Silverado because that's what I have for a sanding unit. Silverado in tank pump. What you gotta do, I think, is just tear everything apart. Uh huh. 
Yep, forgot about that. Idiot. Yep. Uh huh. Might have to do a little modification. Alright, um, ignore all this and the mess. After hacking the crap out of it, I think we got it. Sure. Fucking looks good from my house. Oh wait, I'm at my house. People want to give me crap for putting hose clamps on pressure, high pressure, blah, blah. It's a 525 Hellcat pump. It comes with hose clamps, all right? Run hose clamps on 140 PSI airlines. Don't tell OSHA. Pump's good. It's dark out. What do we got left? All right. Fuel pump. Injectors are decouch. I just need to install them. Getting close. I had a plug there where the EGI was. And you had to tap it, 3 8 MPT for an IAT intake air temp sensor that you'll use instead of a MAF, mass airflow, using just the two wires that went to the temp sensor and the MAF. And I didn't want to pull the intake to do this, so I just keep, uh... <laughs> yep. See if it starts. It would help if I plug my injectors in. Oops. Okay. See if it starts. Just doing a sloppy copy. HB tuners, sloppy mechanics, tune cabinet. I tried to do a couple myself and it wasn't, wasn't working out. So let's just, this might get me close.
Lost my, my lower rad hose. Awesome. Damn it. Pain in the ass. Try that again.
So I think that's it for now. I gotta mess with the tune and drive it around, but it's raining today. And there's not a whole lot of places around me to just go rip it around. Like, too many neighbors, too many people. No secluded spots. But we'll get it dialed in and we'll do some fun stuff. See ya.